Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out a pretty neat game I found on itch called... The Librarian. It seems like a little, short little, uh, like, maybe point-and-click adventure that I thought looked pretty neat and I've been wanting to play for a bit, so I thought we'd give it a shot. So this will probably be a full LP. Effectively. Not really sure what's going on story-wise or anything, but it seems neat. Uh Well, that's not terrifying at all. Jesus. Okay. Candle. Um, there's an owl? An agent? Am I getting invited to Hogwarts? What is this? Book? Hi. Note. Something is wrong in the library. Oh, I guess this is maybe kind of horror too, I, I suppose? I, I totally missed that part. Book. I have book and not much else. What are these things up here? Weird. Okay. Downstairs, let's go, I suppose. Well, this is perfect, because I have been wanting to play kind of some spooky games for October. So, uh, this came at a good time. Wine decanter. Thank you for that. What do I need the wine decanter? I'm not sure why I need the wine decanter. Wardrobe. What you got? A library? Wow, the librarian uniform looks amazing. And excuse me, we get a spirit dagger? <laughs> what kind of librarian am I? Wow, my librarian outfit looks awesome. I want a librarian outfit. What, what in the world? It looks so cool. Then we get a spirit dagger, whatever that means. Oh. Oh man, I want to be here right now. I love snow. <laughs> Excuse the hell out of me. Um. Die. Never mind. Okay. It wants to drink from that puddle, I guess? Maybe I put wine into the puddle and then it gets drunk and leave me alone. There you go, buddy. Aha, now you're tipsy. Wrecked. And away we go. Cool, cool. Main Street. Uh, what do we got here? Not much. Hmm. I'm pixel hunting and not really finding anything, but this is interesting so far. I really do love me some point and clicks, and the idea that I can beat one in like a single sitting is really fun as well. Hello? Okay, there's the library. We already defeated one nightmare monster by getting it drunk, so I wonder what the hell's waiting for us in here. Oh, broken window? Oh, maybe we wouldn't- maybe we wouldn't have been able to go into the front door. I just- I thought it was an item I could pick up. Uh... Hi? Yes, hello, it is me, the librarian, in my super slick clothes. Um, uh, oh, there's a- we probably returned the book, right? Yes. What did that open? A secret passage. Uh... Oh no, a strange machine. Uh... Use the spirit dagger on the handle. No? Okay. Well, I tried. That's all I got. Unfortunately. <laughs> I have the spirit dagger and that is it. Um... Huh, so what are we supposed to do then? Maybe the broken window gets us into a different spot, but we could in actually enter the other way. That might be the case, actually. So maybe I should go back and investigate that, too. Yeah, let's go do that. Why don't we? And broken window! Uh, oh, we can't reach it now. Um, so wait, what am I supposed to... Let's see, broken handle. I don't have anything I can replace the broken handle with. Like, I've tried using the dagger on it. Nothing happened. I hope I didn't, like, miss an item that I need or something, but I, I doubt that would be possible. Um... Well, I'm not really seeing much here, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm pixel hunting, and I don't see much. Uh... Yeah, and I can't, like, take the book back. I mean, although I'm not really sure what that would do for me. Even if I could take the book back. Huh. I was thinking, yeah, maybe we could use the dagger, but... 
Yeah, and you can't reach that now. Oh, can we cut this branch? Yeah, there we go. Cut the branch, use that as a... Or just rip the branch off. Okay, never mind, just rip the branch off. Never mind, I'm, I'm thinking into this too hard. Okay, broken handle, there we go, now we got a handle. Aha! Uh -huh. And that opens this very spooky staircase. Yes, yes. Uh, buttons. Buttons? I do not know what buttons mean. I have no idea what buttons mean. Oh, look at the happy little mouse scholar. I like the happy little mouse scholar. Former librarian. A red lens, huh? Interesting. Can we... We probably can't open the door, right? Door lock. Yeah, you just kind of shrug. So I'm guessing we can't. Well, I don't know what the deal with you guys is. So, I'm not even gonna bother with you yet. Let's just go upstairs. A student, huh? Oop, nope, don't go downstairs. Talk to the student. Oh, never mind, that's a dead student. We're not talking to the student. Index finger? What does that mean? It's like a symbol, I think? Uh, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and that? Those are symbols of some sort for sure, so... Let's, uh, why don't we just rip his hand- well, I mean, I suppose that would be rude. Just to rip someone's hand off like that. <laughs> Probably not the best thing for us to do. Okay, and then this one's like, uh, that, and that, and that. Uh... And then this one's... Yeah, the ring finger is just like a ring. And pinky is like a... It looks like a bellows to me. So... Index... Middle... Ring... Pinky. Okay. I just want to write down what... What uh, was under each finger. Just in case that's part of the puzzle. <clears throat> for some reason. Uh, round socket. Red lens. Wait, are you serious? Oh, come on, it even looks like the red lens. Okay, whatever. whatever. Maybe, maybe they just don't want us to yet. Maybe we have to go down and solve a puzzle downstairs first? Yeah. Because I think we maybe have the solution to that now. So let's see. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, these are definitely the symbols. So... If we go in order of fingers, we do you, then we do you. Um, then we do you. And then the finale over here is this lady holding the apple. At, at least I think it's an apple. All right. Why did just that statue die? Now I feel bad. Um, corroded soul, spirit dagger. Shine! Oh cool, it works. Neato? Okay, an iron sphere. Okay, that's probably what we put into that round indention upstairs then, huh? That I thought the lens would for sure go into, and it for sure did not go into. Iron Sphere? There we go. Wait, R what times? Wait, what now? Wait. Wait, what just happened? Did I get possessed? Did I go into a different- I must have went into a different world. Red lens on the candle. Wow, I didn't actually think that was gonna work. But sure enough, it did. <laughs> It did actually work. Is there anything I can grab here? No. Okay, let's just go back upstairs then. I mean, we could go downstairs in this weird world, but... Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything I could get. Okay, more symbols. Oh, okay, I, I see what probably needs to happen here. Okay, so... Yeah, the, we probably get a symbol by using the red lens on each one of the candles in front of these doors on each floor, and that's the order we gotta go in for this particular puzzle, so... 
Yeah, and then we gotta go down here. Downstairs. Okay. This creepy music is definitely creepy. Um, see now, the only problem is, unfortunately, there's not a... Is there a candle down here? Is there one over here, maybe? Ah, yes, there's one right here. Okay, so that's like a weird snake thing. One. Dot. Weird thing. Dot. Got it. I am the best detective ever. Honestly. Sherlock doesn't have anything on me. Because I am just too good at my job as a detective librarian with an incredibly cool suit. Or clo thing of clothing, I guess. It's not really a suit, but... I don't know, it's a cool thing. Okay, and two is like a goblet, it looks like. So, bent, 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 eh, 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 there we go. That doesn't really look good, but, uh, like my drawing of the goblet, but whatever, it's... I can understand it, and that's what matters. Alright, what we got over... Yeah, you're the weird... thing. Uh... Uh, draw that, and draw that, and then just like a bunch of dots down the side, yeah. And you're number three. Okay, upstairs one more time, and we should have, um, uh, the, uh, final combination here. Yes, hello. And four is brain. Pretty sure that's brain. Okay. What, the thing I drew looks more like an umbrella, but whatever. Okay, so what order do we go in here? Is it from top to bottom, or... I, I imagine it's probably bottom to top, because we're, like, going up the floors. So you need to be that. You need to be that. You need to be that. And you need to be the brain. Okay, cool, we did it. Hooray! I did it. Up the ladder we go. Alright, now what's hiding up here for us? Another ladder. Spooky. I never would have expected another ladder. And also scaffolding. Uh... Hello? Oh, hi, giant bird. Oh, you don't want me to have that, huh? Okay, well, sorry. Sorry if I offended you in some way, giant crow. Maybe I have to bring you an offering or something? Hello? Trapped baby crow. Oh. Okay, well I let you for- Oh, maybe I just have to bring its baby back. It's just mad because its baby's gone. Also, that's a massive bird and that's terrifying. There you go. There's your baby. Okay, cool. Give me the key. And the library key. Now what do we- what exactly did we do with that? I mean, we could open the front door, but why? Is there another thing that was locked? I don't recall. Huh. I don't recall something else that was locked, but maybe I'm just crazy? Oh. Just teleport us back down here. Oh, that's just for getting out. Okay, never mind. That, that was the point. So I guess the thing in the library was the giant crow? That was- that was pretty neat. I enjoyed that. I- I like little, like, mysterious mystery things like that. Like, I- I don't know, it's fun. And the fact that it was so short and everything made it- made it all the more better, so... Yeah, that was neat. That was really neat. Good job, uh, Pixels, huh? I might have to check out some more of their games because, uh... Yeah, that was- that was really cool. More coming soon. So more of this game? I'd be interested in seeing that, so... 
yeah, I'll put the link to the game in the description if you want to play it yourself. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time. <laughs>